Oh, hey, wholesome. What's on your mind? And he's clearly looking for attention here, but I legitimately am thinking I'm going to report this comment to the fucking FBI because this kid needs some sort of accountability. Bet! An ode to my old friend Ben. My favorite teaching tool. Apologize for the Crusades. We should apologize because some of them failed. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to try much harder next time. A montage of how Christian nationalism slips down the alt-right pipeline. But first, I believe you ordered the appetizer of comments. <laughs> what? Last I checked, I'm adopted. My ancestors correspond with the people that I've tagged below. Because they are the ones who have adopted me. That's my friend Jam. He tagged me in that video. We're co-adopted and why I want to make this video. From those two comments, can we notice a pattern of behavior? A bias, if you will. <laughs> Further down the rabbit hole we go. Just right around the corner. You'll see. Is reading a manifesto a big deal? Likes the author a lot. A lot, a lot. Y'all know how to wait. Y'all know. Y'all. And that's how we wound up here. If you see the word Hyboria, which I've covered before in my playlist, you know what you're getting yourself into. Many other aspects of the alt-right, even the accelerationists, have derivatives, like Christian. Hyboria is a fictional, mythical place. It gets them around moderators and other guidelines. But any of his buddies who see that knows exactly what he's talking about. Trust me, when an accelerationist says they want to be in nature, he's trying to hang out with me, Doc. It's because they worship... Hulf A. Dittler and the Unabomber. And they want to go live in nature like the Unabomber. Help depopulate the earth of lesser races. You tell me. Good enough for the FBI? My goal here is not just to educate the moderators and the general public of this app. And the FBI. I don't get paid for this. But when it comes to dog whistles, I'm really good at hearing them. I said,